Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Wrestling Stat Yet, another episode here on YouTube and I think ladies and gentlemen, my old pal, my good friend TJ is back on the desk with me. TJ, we're what last week? Where were we? Well, I was, I was kind of really badly sick. I couldn't make it. My flight was cancelled and all this and I, I hear you're not the only one who missed me, man. I mean, a lot of people missed me in the commentating booth and I just want to say this right now. Prime time in my hometown. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait. Yes, I do exactly that. But along, like I said, if you have seen the tweet, if you have seen the tweet about this, we are going to be. It is announced, and it will be prime time. Will be at well, it's in your hometown. Well, tell us where it is. The Ralph Engelson Arena. We cannot wait for that one. I mean, this is our first ever kind of live event. Oh yeah, it it, it is, and it's going to be amazing. I mean, it's like. Like, I've never been in the area where we're going, but because like, I'm like, I was in the lower town, but I was born in the reservation right near there, so I can't wait, man. This is going to be amazing, but uh, let's, I mean, I'm I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be yes. here, man. It's good to have you back, mate. It's good to see you. It's good to have you back on the desk with me. And I've got loads of questions for you. For no, I know for without doubt you saw the episode, a few questions I want to ask about you. But I've got to get the house keeping out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. As you see on the bottom of the screen, wrestlingsitex.net. Go onto the website, check out the latest episodes, check out the shop. And as well, I, our new partners at www.nlive.com. Basically, free part. Well, it's online, no, they're not free. So I try to get a free one given to me. Aww. But they basically have their online pay per views, so the I pay per views from all the indies from ROH, Evolve, Shine, um, CCW, you name it, they've got these. They've got them, those, those pay per views online. You can watch them online, ladies and gentlemen. Go onto the website, there is a link at the bottom of that. Click onto the website and it takes you directly to the options you've got. And obviously, it's all at the cheap price. And here we go, we're going to sound like WWE yet again. But the majority of those things will be at the cheap price of 9 99 <laughs> Exactly. And then there's the Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, at the wsx 2 k 14 Keep in touch with us. Follow us on Twitter. You'll get all the latest news, action, everything through the Twitter. And there's the Facebook. I've got to speak, to speak about JTX Productions. It's a new production company that has now taken over the production of this show. Uh, very close to my heart because it is my own production company. So I'm really looking forward to getting this off, off, off the road after uh, the... Um, <coughs> track and it's really, really, really push it through and so there's a Facebook page and go and check that out and I'll, um, TJ I know you want to plug your, your, your Twitter account I mean you got you, you, of course you got to follow me I mean I'm the best one in this whole entire table <laughs> uh, I am at Beltane if you would like to come follow me uh, I mostly tweet on there about all the stuff so if you would like to come and ask me any questions go ahead I love talking to my fans unlike a certain few people <laughs> That, well, I, I do try my best, and I, the thing is that that is, that is your plug there, I'll leave that with you, TJ, to be honest. Oh yeah, definitely, I know you spoke briefly about the last episode, but this right here is the EFF book, the beginning. Extreme Fighting Federation, my old company, and, you know, we, we wrote in there, if you want to know more details about it, you want to know more about our personal lives, the hardships we had to go through, the passing of the legend when he died in the ring... Um, you know, just go in there, watch it, see all the things, see if you like Frost Demon, if you like me, if you like Dynamite, like any of those guys, uh, just go and pick it up, and for the cheap price of two ninety nine, uh, most of the money is going to make a Wish Foundation, so if you would like to help make a difference, please buy the book. Yeah, I'll be getting, get my copy back soon, but we've got to get on to tonight's episode, now, Cage Aggression is gone, it's past, and what a hit review it was. I mean, I'm still, I think we're still on a slight come down from that immense and that awesome picture that we saw. But we've got a really packed show tonight, and um, it's going to be exciting because um, I've been told, that if, you, if you remember the commentary last week, um, Dill Dynamite did actually request Mike Time, but um, cancelled on us last second because you went at the desk. So, <laughs> like myself and Max, were quite confused as to what that was all about. So, I, I don't know if you. Uh, have you spoken to Dill since, um, <coughs> since, um, since Case Crash? No, I have not. He uh, refuses to speak to me, so I don't know what, what's going on. So I'm, I'm interested to see what he has to say. The interesting night, and I can't wait to see <coughs> what he's got to say, and that will be coming up very, very soon. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a quick update on Frost Demon. As you did say last week, Frost Demon is TV champion, so he does really need to kind of defend his title or be on TV at least every single week. Um, but it has been made official. The doctors have 
to clear him and fit to wrestle this week. He's not been allowed in the building. He did want to wrestle tight, but he's not been allowed in the building. And believe me, that was a struggle trying to keep him out of the building. But the, 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 the match he had last week, some injuries that were there were re-aggravated and, um, you know, people don't know this, obviously backstage, um, again, as soon as he got out, out, out to him, um, he's on his knees, our medical staff had to treat him, so Frost even will not be competing tonight, but, you know, that's, that, that, that's the update, but he will be back very soon, but, TJ, ready for opening match? Oh, hell yeah, let's see what we get to right, see. We're going to get, we're going to see Crollo going one-on-one -on -one with the returning shocks extreme that was a massive shock was lasting for him returning but ladies and gentlemen let's go over to the ring for our opening match and there he is in a Sean Pro Pro Prolo I'm not his Prolo sorry but I'm trying to words out and this is actually a different look of Prolo I think it's kind of the last few days he was face masked up and everything I, I, I remember he was so this is Interesting to see what he, uh, wow, I mean, he looks completely different. I mean, wow. <laughs> oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, he, he definitely impressed myself, but, I mean, the scary part is, though, is looking his face if he, he, he is facing tonight. And this is going to be great, and I was going to see if he's not back in the ring. But it's full tank for Polo. Um, but Polo is kind of like a mountain cock as well. I'm intrigued to see um, how he does, you know? Great to see that. Great to see that. I think it's Cross. It's a great to see that. I'm very happy to see that in the ring. Oh, yeah, definitely. I completely agree with you. you know, I can't wait to see it. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, he was turning shocked with steam. And I mean, I was so stoked to see him come back. Now, I, I, I did sign a letter, we did sign the contract, I wasn't aware that it was actually shocked to see him, I did actually have access to come back. He sent me a contract in, so I think he might have got I do not know. But shocked, which, I mean, this guy is the WSN original. He was there from the start, right up to the end, since the hiatus. I mean, I was from the start. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with you. I mean, like, this guy, he is one of the original members of WSX. And, like, you know, he went, he disappeared for a while. He's back now. And, man, he's, like, he's been making an impact already. I mean, he had that fight with Ace, I see, last episode. And, you know, beside a few mistakes he made, I mean, it was like he never left. Back now. And things I'd say with the attack against a, you know, that's one of the things I'm going to bring down for tonight. As we go through the next episode, but this is on a shot stream. I'm looking forward to getting it into a pack. I mean, I'm so excited to see shot stream back here in wrestling. But yes, yeah, you can see how this match goes. I completely agree with you again. <laughs> Well, here we have, ladies and gentlemen, the opening match of me, and we have got Shock Stream going one on one with Sean Prolo. Now, like going back to what I was saying about the whole um, Ace thing. Now, last week we saw a lot of the superstars, former EFF guys, um, CBW guys, um, coming in with a whole new, different attitude. Now, I, I don't know why, because I know I, I know you said that that's the case question that you know we were watching. Um, Bill Dynamite. That you said yourself. That's not the Bill Dynamite you know. No, no, it's not completely. He uh, Dil, that Dill Dynamite engaged aggression. That was not the Dill Dynamite who went and almost became the dude who defeated Frosty in the I Quit match. I mean, he's not that Dill Dynamite was essentially just like a a jobber. Essentially, that's what he he became that night. Not easy there from Sean Colo. Now this is a tough task for Sean Colo, and I mean, you know. No, not not take anything away from this match because what well, look at this oh wheelbarrow wow. oh, what, what a nice little caught in mid air into the wheelbarrow into that back seat guys what a move this what a, definitely a decent move this <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. it's not a decent move it's an amazing move I don't know what's wrong with you but <laughs> I don't know my soda water's off today oh your soda water <laughs> <laughs> nice just that but ladies like not like you say so this would be uh, last week was a tough last time um, so I went Prolo made his debut, and that was a tough match, but this is just even so. I mean, this is going against, this is a former WX, WSX Extreme Champion. This guy has actually held the TV title as well, we saw 
you know, there's a slight interest to yourself and also the cross team. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, like, like, like when I first started getting watching WSX before I became a commentator, um, I remember watching so Shocks Extreme, and I remember I was like, you know what? One of the matches, like, I don't know about you, but one of the dream matches that I know myself and a lot of other wrestlers want to see is Shocks Extreme versus Frost Demon maybe one day. Or Shocks Extreme. Hell, if Dill Dynamite can stop being a freaking jobber, I'd love to see him go against, you know, Shocks Extreme. You know, like, there's so many people I want to see go against Shocks Extreme. I know, but I think it's because so, with Shocks so, Extreme so coming back, you know, he's, this guy didn't actually get an official rematch with Extreme title, so... You know, we're going back to the whole WSX Extreme title, and we're kind of bringing that in again. Um, you know, oh, look at that again, mid it catch into that field barrel suplex. That is a beautiful move. It is an, an impressive move. I mean, like the the I mean the hand coordination, man. It has to be precise. If you make one mess up, you could injure yourself or your opponent. I mean, like really badly. That you know, like about any, any one inch out, that could take his neck. or shot to him taking you taking all the turns point. To the outside, but Sean Cole is back in with that forearm to the face. Ooh. Reversal's back and forward. Both guys here. Because he's in back and forth. Yep. Again, reversal. <laughs> These guys have been watching each other quite regularly, obviously. Oh, definitely. And I mean, like, it, it, it's it's impressive. Because, I mean, like, I mean, like I said, oh, no. Oh. This is the slash there. I mean, it's it's impressive because, you know, sh oh, wait, what? Uh-oh. Oh, crusher. Oh, we recognize that was a key crusher. Beautiful little sit out fist fist from the back of this could be it. Oh, could this be is the shock, it's two. Oh. Ooh, Jeff kicking out on two there. But you know, I think uh, I think I think we recognize that move, don't we? Yeah, that that move is actually Frost Demons used that move a lot. I know that. <laughs> so. Again, it's a legend, you know, that Frost Demons is a legend. He's gonna have influence a lot of guys. Yeah. Like Yoshi Tonic there from Shock Extreme. Yeah. Well uh, I mean this is what the hell? Wait, what What the hell did the ref just say to his shocks extreme? I don't know. I, think, I, think, I, don't know. I, I, I think we've talked of Shane West. There's been a lot of um, controversy on Shane West. Like last week we saw, you know, the, turn the count up. Oh, like a little moonsault, a little kick there. Oh, yeah, the, the Chris Stevens versus Akeen Williams controversy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I see that. And that, you know, that pissed me off, Shane West, what Shane West did. I mean, like, that could have easily have injured a lot of... Wait, what the what hell? What's up there? What's up there? Oh no! Oh, oh, what a spear! Spear, what a spear! What a setup! There's one, there's two, there's three. What a setup into that spear! I mean, TJ out of nowhere. Uh, I'm flabbergasted. I mean, like, I'm still shocked. I don't know what to say because what that I think Jesus. <laughs> that um, obviously we need to. We always say it, that's on a t-shirt they do like that. Go to the shop, www.wrestlingsocietyx.net. Go to the shop, check out his shop stream t-shirt. It is Fear the Spear, but I have ne I've seen him hit that from the corner. I don't remember, I've never seen him hit that from a flapjack. I mean, the height he got in that lift on Sean Cole there. I mean, that was impressive and scary. I mean, like, there's... Jesus. <laughs> and I mean, that... I know, but the speech that got me up, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we all, we, I've gone through these a few weeks, we talk about match of the years, and then like, ah, you've got to be honest, that is definitely an OMG moment. Oh, definitely, that has to be one of the, I mean, like, like arguably, I've been wanting to start this thing, or an award, it is the best finisher, and I got it, I have to say, that has to be a candidate. <laughs> was no doubt, I mean, the height, of the throwing into that flapjack, and I was see, no, I've only ever seen it hit that once before, and um, it was impressive then, but that was, Doubly impressive, I mean, the height he got there on showing Sean Polo up and then just hitting him with that spear out of nowhere. I mean, but no, we, we, that's, that's like nothing away from Sean Polo. He, 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 he hit the he hit the key crush, he got his finisher in there. Oh, definitely. I mean, like, he, he definitely did. I mean, he tried fighting, but uh, I guess Shocks Extreme just wanted to. He yeah, had more of an opportunity. I mean, because, like, he's undefeated ever since he came back. He's like 2 0. So. <laughs> Definitely, it's good to see. Like I said, it's good to see him back. I, I've got to be honest, there is, you know, he didn't get his match for the extreme title, and we keep going on about that, like we talked about the in the match. I mean, the the the, the, the queue of people lining up for a shot at that extreme title, I mean, he just keeps seems to getting longer and longer. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, like it, it it's very impressive on all the people 
that we're seeing going against. Like, because all the people we're currently seeing going against for the extreme title right now, it's going to be brutal. Like, I'm expect like like we have to have an ambulance by side. I can promise everyone that. Yeah. I mean, you know, we we, we got to go back to you know with Chris Stevens and uh, Chris Stevens is Kane Williams last week, mm-hmm. and um, you know I, I know you heard the announcement. I know for a fact, and I got your tweet, I got your message. I know you were so excited to see that. Well, to, oh, well, tonight main event we will see Chris Stevens going one on one with Crimson. And I mean, again, another superstar going for the extreme title. And I said we're gonna throw Chris Stevens' name in there because of the press that Winnie had over Kane Williams last week. Yeah. And I'm gonna. I just want to say this right now. That match, at Keen Williams versus Chris Stevens, and this is no offense to any of the veterans in WSX. That was by far, in my opinion, the best match in WSX history. In my oh, opinion, that, you know. I mean, one of the longest. Well, I think I won about a 25 minute match. I mean, impressive at both. And well, like I said, we throw his name there, but we've got to put Shot Extreme in there as well. Mm. Going for that that extreme title, and um, you know. It's, but look, the thing is, going back to Chris Stevens, I, I, we mentioned briefly about Ace, you know, this whole new look on Ace. Um, you, I, I know for a fact, although Chris Stevens did stick to the his fundamentals, there was a different kind of edge to the way he was facing, the way he was facing, like, I mean, fought, um, Akeem Williams. Well, I mean, like, Chris Stevens probably knew that Akeem Williams is, you know, I mean, he's a lot different. Akeem Williams is, is hardcore. Well, Chris Stevens probably was like, you know what? I can be even more hardcore. And, well, they were really freaking hardcore. <laughs> I mean, it was a, it was a match of one-upmanship all night. I mean, elbow drops, all by elbow drop, Russian leg suit by Russian leg suit. I mean, they both Spears got to be yeah. Through the barricades. I mean, I mean, it was a one-upmanship. I mean, like that, again, I've kept this match for years. Yeah. And, you know, again, if, again, another edge, another side of a superstar. I don't think that... I don't think even you recognized. I'm trying to think you didn't even think that you had. No, well, I knew Chris Stevens was was very, very uh, different because he was he impressed me a lot in the, in the independent scenes. But I just want to say this right now: Chris Stevens is one of the best technical wrestlers I know. But you know what? I want to see in a future match, and I want you to set this up one day: Lance Blade versus Chris Stevens. I want to see that. Well, that will be a great match. You imagine the two technical guys going when. On one, and we will see Lance Blade in action now. And he is the next match, and he's going up. He's going up again. Um, well, we we wouldn't say as so much a CDW veteran, but the superstar that got that we got signed here mm-hmm. was voted off CDW. But um, we will see. I, I don't know if you were aware of this, but we will see Dave Killer going one on one with Lance Blade. Now. Well, are, are, are you serious, Dave Killer? He Dave Killer, yes. What? Oh my God! Wow, the dude who injured Brandon for a couple weeks is coming into coming into WSX. Okay, this. this. Don't, you, 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 start, you sound kind of like you, you don't know what to expect. I mean, you know, he came to me. I got to be honest, he came to me. He tweeted me. He wanted an opportunity and said, "You know what? I'll give you that opportunity." Because you know. If you, you wouldn't have asked him to come to CDW if you didn't think there was something special there. Yeah. You know, give him the opportunity here, and it would be interesting to see how that goes. Well, you know what? Let's. You, I'm. I'm going to say this right now. You made a mistake. I'm going to say this right now. <laughs> let's let's see who, let's see the match though. Well, let's see how it goes. As we go to our next match, we will see Dave Killer going one on one with Lance Blade. <laughs> There he is, there is Dave Killer. And now, I'll tell you, you seem surprised. I mean, this is not the Dave Killer I know. This, no, you made a mistake. This is not Dave Killer. First of all, he's a couple inches taller now. He's copying Ace's, you know, face paint ideas. So, I mean, Ace is probably pissed off somewhere. I mean, so, like, what? What the hell? <laughs> well, it's, well, it's, I'm, we gotta be not allow these guys, you know, we need to give these guys the opportunity to showcase their skills because, you know, if you did not, you might impress them, you might not. You never know, but we just see how that goes and how the night goes on. We're going one on one with the last play, you know what I mean? We just, we just hold our breath and see what happens. Yeah, well, this is. Wow. Okay, well, let's let's see it. I mean, like the. Ma- oh. Oh,
and here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. My opinion is the future of WS Tech and of course the future of Thor, Lance Lane. I mean, you were, I, 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 you got, I, I got to ask you, how impressed were you with this guy last week? Well, I was really impressed because, I mean, like, he, you know, he took Frost Demon to his limits, you know, and I mean, he, uh, he absolutely did. And then he took a beating from Frost Demon at the same time, and he kept on fighting. So, I mean, it's, it's very impressive. Um, he impressed me a lot. He impressed a lot of people. He opened a lot of eyes. I mean, like, how many chances do you get to debut against, a, you know, a, a legend, a veteran named Frost Demon, and you actually survive? Yeah. <laughs> and it, it was a great match. I mean, so impressed. I, I, I was, I've been impressed with this guy from the start, and I cannot say well, uh, you know, I'm going to say this right now. Um, Dave Killer, he is the master of the DKO. Um, you know, so it's like, it's going to be interesting. And whoa, nice drop kick. Okay, that okay, that was a, that was a mistake from, in my opinion, right there. I'm just going to say that right now from Dave Killer. We always talk about this. We always talk about the other superstars who kind of you know um, yeah, look that straight foot, straight top lock to the back of the knee. And we talk about it all the time, the superstars getting coffee, you know. You, you know, we understand this guy wants to make an impression and then Dragon Whip, top lock into Dragon Whip, straight onto that leg. I mean, like, like that, that makes, you know, like, Lance Blade does not look like a technical wrestler. He does not. He looks like a brawler in a powerhouse, you know. So, I mean, like, I'm just glad he's not trying to, he's going into his own path, he's not trying to, fit into a mold, you know, he's going his way, you know, and he's going into a completely different. Exactly, we don't call him the misfit, he doesn't call himself the misfit for no reason. Oh no, definitely. Kick to, kick to the gut there. Didn't we have a guy, was it, wasn't there a man in, named Misfit who actually had a, who was in a, a suicide match a long time ago? There was, I think you haven't seen this for a while after that match, yeah. I mean, you know, th those those matches, you know, those those suicide matches are not too for superstars to kind of really make an impression. Oh, no, oh, no. I was seeing that German suplex is so impressed with it. just turn his opponent inside out. But like I say, you know, um, going back to um, Misfit, um, if, 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 if we have it, obviously that match he was in, um, if you win the match, you get the contract, and obviously Mike Enson came out on top of that one and walked out the new, and obviously cashed in, became the champion. But um, as you all know from the last few episodes, Mike Enston decided to tuck his tail between his legs and make a move somewhere elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But you know, Miz fit was impressive, but he didn't get the job done, mm -hmm. so hence why we're not going to see it. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, like he might be ashamed, but anyways, now let's see this Miz fit. Like, <laughs> so this Miz fit does. There we go. Again, last thing, straight to that knee. I mean, he's. Didn't you tell me once he has a a, a finisher that's that's for the legs? And exactly. If you know your wrestling moves. Um, for those who will go, go back to the and see the superstar from WWE, um, company wrestling in New Japan at the moment, I think he is, um, teamed with the superstar Shelton Benjamin, I'm called Charlie Haas. And, um, well, I mean, Charlie Haas had his finish, a uh, leg finish called the, the, um, the Half of Pain. And mm -hmm. also you've seen um, AJ Styles now using a calf killer. So the move that we will see Lance Blade using, if he does manage to lock in, is very similar to the calf killer. Oh man, I can't, I can't wait to see what happens here because I mean, like, this is very interesting because Dave Killer um, in CDW. First of all, I just want to note this right now. His debut match was against Dil. Oh, well, there's that Yunagi Slam, Yunagi Side Slam there from 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 the um, Lance Lee there. Sorry, he he, he debuted against D Dill Dynamite, and he actually fought Dill Dynamite very very. Um, very strongly, like they, it was a back and forth match. Then he, of course, you know, fought against Brandon in that epic Extreme Rules match. In fact, he actually injured Brandon with a stage two concussion, and it was a uh, very big. I mean, like he DKO'd him off the top of the ladder. Then he punt kicked him right in the side of the skull. So I mean, like it was brutal. Take a look. It's like, oh, that's that DKO. There's the DKO. This could be it. No, this could be a shot. No, no way. Two, three. Oh my God. Oh, what? That was close. And oh man, the last bite just does a German suplex and now like nothing happened. I can't point with another. Look at the strength of the last one. Turn his opponent 
inside out. I mean, that DKO out of nowhere. I mean, it, it, it's, it is by far one of the best out of nowhere moves in the business. I, I can I can say that right now. <laughs> that, that was that was Oh, nice! Oh man, these guys are reversing everything now. I mean, you've got to be impressed. Oh, I, I'm I'm I am impressed. Uh, it's just I said it was a mistake for you to sign Dave Killer because uh, I'm afraid to see if he. I don't want no more stage two concussions. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Well, he like the power landing there from Lance Blade, but again, hit hey, hey, Dave Killer again, just coming up with the reversal. What's that? Oh, there's a wrap, a small package. Small package. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go, small package there. <laughs> from, from Lance Blade. Shut up now. <laughs> again, <laughs> look at this, like, work into that leg. I mean, that's such a pin, that shin breaker. You know, if you, keep, if you tell me to shut up, I'm going to steal your soda water, man, I swear to God. Not the usual stuff. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice yeah, comic book. Oh, oh, another German suplex. I mean, he uh, he's a German suplex fanatic. That is for sure. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, like, I mean, who doesn't like a oh. good? Oh, oh, oh! That was very close. I know it's not that shot blocker, that front shot blocker. You see, Jack Swagger make a massive piece of. I mean, that was just a, a shoulder to the knee. And that, 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 that instantly just takes the opponent down. You block that finish run. Match is done. And oh, oh, spear out of nowhere! The well, that was a, that was an, a, 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 um, not not expected. Oh, uh, definitely. I mean, like it's like Jesus. Like, do you think he'd seen the Shock Six Three match? He's like, you know what? I want to try that. <laughs> well, it's definitely. But you gotta be impressed. You know, you've seen the power moves, and um, you've seen all these power moves going on, and then hitting coming out the top. I do apologize, that my, my, more my phone is going off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I wish that to go. I wish that to finish ringing. But like you said, you know, you've got to be impressed. You know, going from this technical style of wrestling right into this massive powerhouse kind of work. Oh, definitely. You know, from, I completely agree with yeah, you. Yeah, that that a spear into that shin breaker. You know, yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you. And you know, and like all of us is having. I just want to note, all of us is having phone problems because like every time you hear a cat meow or whatever, that's my my wife tweeting, uh, sending me a text message. <laughs> but. uh... You know, so I mean, I know what, what the hell, that was... Spring ball, but way off target here, that spring ball. Well, he, and Dave Killer just set himself up for that, you know, so... Yeah. I thought he was going to see that. Oh, definitely. You know, I mean, like, that's... It's, I can't wait to see who... And what well, the spring ball, oh, I, you're missing the spring ball there, but again, timing, off, timing was really off on that. I think it's the face paint. Oh, we've seen this. Oh, we've no. seen this a few times. Oh, no, that... Oh! Spears through the barricade, man. What a spear there from from, from Lance Blade. This Brennan point through the barricade. No. Again, showing that strength. I swear to God. Oh, the table. I swear to God, if anybody does this, like if he, if they break this table and anybody else does, I, I swear to Jeebus, I'm going to defend the table. I'm going <laughs> to... I swear Defend the table. I will defend my table. Because <laughs> I'm tired of everybody breaking the freaking table. Jesus. Okay, good. There, there. Uh oh, small yeah, package. Small package again. In that tight. Two. Oh, they tried to copy of Chris Stevens. <laughs> yeah. Again, another atomic drop. Or oh, into that. Uh -oh. That's a five carry slam. This is deep throw. That's a deep throw. What a move. Such power in that one. We just drive his opponent. Into the match. I mean, look how many times he hit it on Frosty, and he hit it, you know, like on out in the ring, through the table, and all that. I, you know, so I mean, like it's, it, it's a very powerful move. That's okay. for sure. Oh, oh there's that shot block. That what a move. I mean, that is gonna break the leg without a doubt. Oh yeah. Oh wait, did he just try setting up for the that one move you said? Just he went set up for that leg. But again, Lance Blade backing up that whole package. Yeah. And I mean, ah, what a beautiful bulldog you just had, man. I mean, like, it was a... Uh-oh. And... Uranagi side slam. Oh, man. Like, he clearly enjoys that move. I could say that. <laughs> and uh, the blue thunder bomb into the pin. Oh, he's got the pin there. Oh, I love it. Love it. Just the pin out there. Oh, okay. I guess not. You know, I mean, like, if it was me, I'd have done it. Just saying. And, uh... <laughs>
Uh, working back on the legs. I mean, like, that's very, very smart of him to do that. <laughs> oh! Hold up that forward slam! Oh, there's one, two, three! What a finish! I mean, that's a new move I've seen. I mean, a four-way slam, and then just holding on to that pin. I mean, impressive, <laughs> impressive pin. I mean, I mean, definitely. I mean, I was not expecting that. I thought that was just like a, a, a normal move, you know. So, like that, that, that came out of nowhere for me. I was not expecting that. I mean, uh, but again, we're gonna go back to states because I know you said it's a state signing, but you know, there's no denying you was it too. He wasn't bad. He, he, he was quite impressive. Uh, yeah, he was. He was impressive. Yes. Uh, you know, but he still. I don't know why, but in a lot of matches like these, uh, I think he gets a hiccup because he he's never been ever. He's only won a few times, and like so, I, I guess he's just getting hiccups. Like, you know, again, he put up a good fight against um, against. Uh, Lance played them, and it's got interest. and it's impressive, you know, especially a superstar who went toe to toe with, you know, went toe to toe with Boss Demon last week. Um, and we got to think about it, you know, he's probably the reason why Boss Demon is not here tonight. <laughs> well, well, I, w I wouldn't really say that. I think it was him and Savage is the reason why Frost Demon. But yeah, <laughs> that's what it means. Yeah, it's understandable. But you know, we got to think about, you know, Lance played. We, we told we said he was a very technical sound wrestler, and you know, it, it was it was impressive to see, you know, this you know it was impressive to see Lance Blade, you know, take advantage of that. And I was done tonight. If you were still in the ring yourself, you would do exactly the same. So would I. And you know, you've got you've got to admire that. And he took advantage of the situation. He took advantage of an opportunity, and and luckily he didn't come out on top. But like I said, we keep saying a few times we've seen it. Steam um, Demon, sorry, Frost Demon hit his, the, the Damnation Driver kind of like out of nowhere, out of desperation. And a few times you've seen that, you haven't mentioned that yet. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it, it's it's very weird, <laughs> I guess you could say. It's, it's you know, Frost Demon has been, he's being pushed to his limits a lot. And I, I think in a, a sick and twisted way, I think he's enjoying that, you know. Um... But I just wanted to say this right now, you know, you, you brought it up briefly. You said if I was in the ring, I'd have done the same thing, you know. I'm not going to be like a certain someone in last week's episode who was, you know, saying, oh, if I was in the ring, I'd beat this person up, you know. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. If I was still in the ring, I, I'm i way more technical than, like, both Lance Blade and Chris Stevens combined. So, like, come at me, bros. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Why you made the challenge on Lance Blade to every yeah. up the back one? Wait, what? Let us know what we're going to match. No, 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 no. I'm not, I was only joking. I swear to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we got to go back to the bat. I mean, um, Dave Killer, yeah, you know, he came out on a loss. You know, a bit more of an improvement of what we've seen. So he's had time off and now he's back and back in the ring. And he's gonna, you know, there's no doubt, you know, he will probably be a part of the rest of that yeah, in the future. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Well, and that's played. Lance, like, we're going to go Lance Blade. I mean, you've got to be impressed with him. You impressed last week, but you've got to be even more impressed tonight. I mean, that fall away slam into that bridge and pin, I mean, that is a hard move to hold on to. Oh, definitely. I mean, that requires a lot of skill, a lot of technique, you know. Um, you know, so that that did impress me. The fact is, though, right now, is he's undefeated. He's like, oh, well, no, sorry. No, he's not undefeated. Yeah, he's 1-1. He's 1-1. Sorry, I was thinking of uh, Jacques' stream. He's 1-1. And the fact is, the only person who's beat him so far is a freaking demon, and a dude named a, a Killer couldn't defeat him tonight. So I mean, like that has to add on his resume. <laughs> it adds to the hype, you know. This person is living up to his hype. But uh, what's the point? We've still not seen that leg submission. I mean, I've seen it, and it's so you have to witness it to kind of see the pain that uh, that, that the kind of move that kind of holds. I mean, I'm hoping sooner or later we will see that. You know, we saw the dethrone tonight. You know, that beautiful. Fireman's, fireman's lift into the slough. I mean, that's like, like, well, I could call it an inverted A. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, I think Ashley Ridge is probably the, the widow maker um, in WWE when it was there. Um, but impressive. You, you can't say there's definitely future. Definitely titles around this. Uh, definitely. definitely. I mean, like, well, technically, he's already had the chance already to win a title, you know, and he came close. He came very close to it. 
So, I mean, in his freaking debut, he almost won the TV title. And so if he would have won, I'm just going to say this, I know I don't like going into the what-ifs, but imagine if he did. The first man to actually def win, I mean, take the TV title from Frost Demon, defeating his winning streak in the, the longest wait reigning champion ever in WSX history. I know you didn't bring that up, but I am now. So, I mean, like, that would just, like, boost him up. Like, that would take him from maybe a mid-card to, like, or low card to like higher mid card to main event status almost. Well, this guy is the main event. Though. He's main event in every way he's been, and you know, I there's no doubt in my mind he's going to be um, at the top somewhere, and he's going to be sick, and he's, he will reign supreme. Everyone do it, and uh, the king of queens will come back. Sorry, um, uh, sorry. Are, are you hearing this? You microphone, DJ. You, you, you getting this? Uh, you coming out now? What? Yeah, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to hear from. Uh, Dill Dynamite. Um, so, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Yeah. And, um, yeah, um, well, I said we'll just go, go from the image, but no, Dill Dynamite wants the microphone, so here it is. Close your jaws, open your eyes and ears, because yeah, this is me. No more traditional black, blue, and what. But simply, I just want to let you nimble-minded hardcore fans know that tonight, I am no longer known as Dill Dynamite, although I do support this logo right here that clearly shows the double Ds right here. That's just to keep a little remnant sense of memory of what I once was. My name is simply Dynamite, and this was a decision I drastically had to make. Long story short, CDW, EFF, Fame Bell, those are the three subjects that tend to get into my head and get, get me a sour taste in my stomach. That's why right, Fame Bell, I know you can hear me, I don't have this loud microphone for a reason, and just be lucky that you're retired because I've been wanting to tell you this for the longest time. I am tired of you holding me down because you knew and I knew for a fact that I wanted to change who I was because of course in DAW I had to be the hero. I had to be the co-founder. I had to represent what was good and simple that was great about that company. And I wanted to change that in CDW but no. You decided to keep me as the good technical goody two-shoes guy, which I did not want to be anymore. Because I am vindictive. I am a brawler. I like to put my body on the line and hurt others along with it. So you get those little phony Walmart glasses off and look at me in the eye from where you're at, thing. I know you're retired. I know you can't even lift up a clipboard anymore because of how weak you are. But listen to me. And WSX, you listen to me. I joined here because Jordan understood my passion. Jordan understood what I needed to do. And he understood that my new style that I've been holding back for a long time would fit here. 
in Wrestling Society X. And what you just saw at Caged Aggression, that was just a little obituary for the original Dill Dynamite. And now, this is me, Dynamite. Yeah, I look a little simple, but simplicity can be duplicated into hardcore aggressiveness. And that's what you want to see, that's what you're going to get. Thane, this is a big screw you for all the times you've held me back, for all the times you have forced me to be someone that I did not want to be. Because I am Dynamite now. No longer Dill Dynamite. And for anybody else in the back, including you, Aiken, or whatever the heck your name is, I forgot, you little bearded hobo. This was just a little test run. Once you face the real me in the world of hardcore, you're never going to forget whether you win or lose. Because that's reality. Gotta be honest, some harsh, harsh word there from um, from Dill Dynamite, and um, you know I, I, I'm not too sure. I know I, I get your response, but I'm on. Well, well, he's coming down the ring. Well, take take. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I do apologize, um, TJ, what, what, was, what has happened? You know, I really don't know. I don't know what his problem is. The fact he wants to try to shift the blame onto, onto me, even though I have, I can prove it to anyone in, right now, that everything he just said is a lie. And I want to quote this right now. He said, I'm lucky to be retired. Kid, I bet you if I get my trunks on right now, I could still out-wrestle you, and I could kick your ass. I can promise you that, Dynamite. I mean, the, the thing is, though, like, I, I, you know, I've, I've got to speak on this subject here. I've got to be the journalist. That's my job to do that. Um, you know, we, we've seen a whole new side still Dynamite, and i got to be honest, when I signed him, I just want to just let you know, when I signed Dill Dynamite here to wrestling site, yeah, I signed the Dill Dynamite that I w that I was accustomed to. The guy I saw in season seven, the guy I saw in the the guy I saw in the FF. And um, you know, when I, when I, I, when we did the contract, you, you know, the contract was written up. You know, a freedom of speech and a freedom of character development, etc., etc. We give every we give every wrestler of that opportunity here. And this is, like I said, this is not the Dill Dynamite you were accustomed to. Like I don't know as well as you do, but. Um, we're gonna we're gonna disagree on this one, but I kind of like this new edge. I kind of like this new hardcore rough side of Bill Dynamite. Yeah, oh, but Dynamite now is it Dynamite as he's called now. Sorry. The thing is, though, is he's still acting childish. He's still act. He's still wanting to go and shift the blame on someone. He doesn't want to accept any sort of responsibility. So in the end, yeah, he might have changed. He might be edgier. He might be hardcore. But in the end, he's still a child. He's acting like one. And guess what? I'm gonna treat him like one. But you've got, you've got to think about this. You've got to think about this. Um, you know, there might be some you know, truth in what you're saying. Because, you know, a lot of your superstars will come here to wrestle to that EX, you know, after the, the closing down. I, we understand the reasons why you had a close CBW and why you had a close EFS down. It's understandable. You know, finances and banks, and things, yeah, we, we get that. But, you know, you've seen your superstars come into a new company and totally change who they are. I mean, just look at Ace, for example. I mean, this whole new kind of dark edge. We understand he was trained by Frosty Men, but, you know, there's got to be some kind of truth in what he said. Dave, even Dave Killer. I know, I know, I know you said earlier, I know you were not impressed with Dave Killer being here, but there was, that was a different Dave Killer. That, that was something different to what we have used to seeing. Well, I don't, I don't really care about Dave Killer because he, he got kicked out and first ever, you know, first person ever be kicked out. So he's been gone for a long time. I don't know what he's been doing. I really don't care. Um, you know, the fact is, though, is that if you want to try to go into Dynamite's side, um, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, I can prove. In fact, after this, I will go and like get my one of my assistants 
to fax a contract that I made that has every single every single wrestler's signature that says that their gimmick is up to them. Their wrestling style is up to them. If they mess up, it's on them, not on anybody else. So if they screw up, it's on them, not me, not you, not anybody else. So, wh- come on, what do you guys say after that one? Well, no, if the, 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 the proof's there, the proof's there, you know, and, you know, what we'll, we'll, we'll do, if, if, if you were happy to do this, you know, at the end of the show, we will have a sit-down, it'll be WSX Extra, um, we'll, we'll have a sit-down, we'll really kind of go into depth and, and bring that and bring that content and get that thing thank you me. But, you know, speaking of superstars who come from EFF and change how they pl- and change their kind of character, we're going to see one of those superstars now, next, in the main event, and we will see Chris Stevens going one on one with Crimson. Now I announced this match last week and the excitement, the tweets, the comments, everything of you know, Crimson and Chris Stevens. People are excited about this match and you know, you've got another superstar who's come in, can kind of remain the fundamentals of what he did, but I I put a different edge on it, I put a different twist on it and in that case I'm talking about Chris Stevens. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, like I said, like I said at the uh, at, I believe the beginning of the show Chris Stevens, when he went against the Keen Williams, he seen the Keen Williams as hardcore. I mean, so he's like, I need to be hardcore, and I think that's what he did. It could just be him adapting. I know, I don't know, and um, you know, it'll be interesting to kind of see. Um, well, c- kind of see because obviously we're going to see we're we are going to see the number one contender. So the other number one contender for the Extreme Title Crimson. And he was going up against the new Chris Stevens. I, I, I will play it. The new Chris Stevens. It could be, it could be adapting, but I do generally believe it's the new Chris Stevens. You know, new company, new opportunities, etc., etc. And, and I, I'm, I'm excited for this main event. I don't know if you, I, I, considering what's just gone on, I understand. You know, you've been a bit, you know, dog smart whatever. But you know, there's got to be some slight level of excitement about this main event. Oh, definitely. I'm a huge giant Chris Stevens fan, and I'm a huge giant Crimson fan, so I can I, I am exhilarated from this right now. Well, this is going to be a great match, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get straight into tonight's main event as we will see Crimson going one on one with Chris Stevens. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, making his second, second appearance here in wrestling from Saturday X. This is Chris Steven, and I mean, we talked about it briefly, but what an impressive show we had of Chris Steven um, at the Pixie Story after at, at, at last week's episode. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they, they, like we said before at the beginning of the episode, is that was arguably the best match in WSX history. Yeah, I mean, we've got to see. But, you know, he's got a different kind of character. He's going up against somebody who's totally different. I mean, you know, Kane Williams is a hardcore, you know, a hardcore wrestler. But Crimson, you know, and, you know, we will talk about Crimson and I make his way down to the ring. But, you know, this is a totally different wrestler. This is going to be a totally different kind of um, style to what we witnessed from Chris. We witnessed from Kane Williams to what we're going to see tonight from Crimson. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, this is Crimson, the mysterious, the dark, this Crimson, I am so happy that this guy is going to get a shot at the hardcore house, because I think we're going to see a side of Crimson that I wasn't expecting, I mean, this guy is mysterious, this guy is dark, but, you know, give him some weapons, I dread, I dread to think what he could do with them. Oh, definitely, you know, but it, you also have to think right now, um... Crimson has a really huge advantage right now over Chris Stevens because Chris Stevens had that huge giant match against the King Williams and all the spears through the barricades and all all that stuff, you know. Um, that adds up and you don't heal it up within uh, you know the next week, so I mean Crimson does have an advantage right now. Well here we go ladies and gentlemen, four superstars that Lena has told Ray that get into this match, I mean I mean, this is going to be interesting. You can see the love of both superstars trying to find an opportunity there, and Crimson kind of with the straight punch to the face, mm. and then just flips the opponent into that corner turn buckle. I mean, I mean, like, like it, it's like I said, you know, many times already. Uh, ooh, nice. Um, 
Crimson does have a slight advantage, but let's see how he will take the advantage. I doubt he knows the spin he looks at <coughs> from Crimson. Um, what the, what the, what a nice combination of strikes there from Crimson. Yeah, definitely. And, ooh, nice power move. That you don't. I wasn't expecting that one actually. Um, wow, that actually surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're seeing size of superstars that you're not expecting. You know, you're not expecting Chris Stevens to pull off a big flapjack move like that. You got to see there. Oh, oh reversal there. You know what? Comes going for reverse intact, reverse DDT. Again, we're seeing a new side to Chris Stevens. Whether it is him adapting or whether it is, this is who he feels this is the kind of superstar he wants to be. We don't know. It's one move. Don't be jumping into conclusions. It was one move. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just reading the lines. You know, if you saw a different side from last week's up. Oh, look at that hip toss neck breaker. Such a beautiful move. I love that hip toss neck hip toss neck hip toss into that neck breaker. Stop drinking your soda water. You're clearly... It's it's reacting to you badly, man. <laughs> Then it's, it's a different kind of soda water to what I'm used to. That's what it is. I think I just might go. I might just call the the fresh and because no, I didn't get a beer. No, it's just you get a beer. Oh God. Get two. You get your two. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, t TJ, do you want one? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, just get me two anyway. Thanks. Right, we're back in the match, ladies and gentlemen. My drinks are on the way. I see a basement drop kick Ooh. there from Crimson. Driving it. I mean, like this is a uh, nice neck breaker. I mean, it's it's just gonna be a n oh. Well, Athlete, oh, standing moonsault, beautiful standing moonsault there from Crimson. But you know, just even just trying to shake it off and both into that tie up now. Who's up on top? And Crimson gets the rear waist lock, calls it with a big backstabber. Oh man, I mean, like this is this is getting hit. Wait, what is he doing? Uh oh! I I know what he's going for. The like that big flying knee. Oh, just misses that flying knee. Nice bit of evasion there from Chris Stevens. Yeah. I mean, wait. Oh, I've heard about this. This is a new finisher. Oh, oh what, what a neck breaker! That is that that is a totally different kind of neck breaker there. No, no delivered. No, a, a normal neck breaker. As in power, but there's an extra unfair crossing the arms over the throat and bang. I mean, it's Jesus <laughs> working on the neck, the, the body, and all that, and that's that's a very smart strategy. Because, like I said, um, Christy, I mean, Crimson does have an advantage, and he is now trying to take full advantage of well, the advantage. Full <laughs> <laughs> advantage, of the advantage. Uh, I think I think yeah, they, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I do apologize, in German, I got to refresh this as well, that's all the work we'll do in my head then. Oh, we got to see what's coming to the Oh, Vishenoku driver! Jesus Christ! I mean, like, Chris Stevens hasn't had that much moves into this match. That that's oh, that oh. is that Impaler DET! The Impaler DET! We've seen you guys finish it before, but, oh, why didn't go for the pin? I... I don't know, and uh, Oh! Oh my god, uh-oh. Here's some crazy Steve moments! And, uh, oh. oh! Oh! Crimson moving out of the way and that's totally high risk, no reward there. And then back in the, the, the audience is crazy there for that beautiful little reverse today. Because uh, things like that, you know, it shows ring stab, you know, Crimson... Oh no, we've seen this, have you seen this already tonight? Oh man, he's... Oh, he's all... No, he's... No, that, 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 Oh my god! Through the barricade, that barricade has not long been just put down for the match we had earlier on. I mean, but Jesus. I, I mean, like, I I think Chris Stevens has gone through more barricades in the last two episodes than uh, essentially almost anyone in WSX. <laughs> in, 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 in a whole career, I've got to be honest with you. Again, nothing that. These superstars are showing that extreme side, and I really like this. I am so excited about the extreme championship. I mean, this is going to be. So much fun! Oh, definitely. I I am. I can't wait to see it all. And you know, I mean, prime time is gonna be an amazing, amazing show. And it always went. Oh, a nice Russian leg sweep. Uh oh, he's going up in high risk. And uh, drops the elbow. He goes to the pin. There's one. Not even a two count there from Crimson. Oh man. Uh oh, wait. I don't know what he was going for, but Crimson reversed it. And 
Another backstabber. Oh, man. Yeah. And, and that, I mean, you can't even dick for it because, you know, Crimson is worth the battle off there. Oh, oh! oh! Suicide plancha into the ring and I guess he connects with it. Oh my god. Oh, he's lining it up again. Uh oh. This is he's going for it and Oh! Oh wait. Dang, oh. oh and there's that there's the Steven shoot there. The Steve shoot the Steve shoot oh wrenching on it. Oh my god. That is in deep Oh Crimson from holds on. I mean that is I mean out of nowhere that move has been hit I mean Crimson dominated this match, but that has just come out of nowhere. Uh, definitely, you know that's why I love a lot of those out of nowhere moves because you don't you don't expect it. But I mean, like, like look how long they're lasting in there. Oh, and just whether he's losing grip or he's trying to go for that, go for, go for the win. But I, I don't know. But I've only Chris Stevens can for that one. Yeah, definitely, you know, and I mean, like that. I mean, he, he needed to wait. Oh well, no, and not. Oh, that flip into that pin, swings it over into the pin. Oh, oh and Chris Stevens reverses it back. Two. Ooh, that was close. If he would have won by that, a lot of people would have hated him for it. That's for sure. <laughs> We've got to think about it. Think about it last. Think about how he won. Um, hey. what not? Oh, was it that match? He won with a small pack. Yeah, yeah. But when the keen, he's only had two matches there. You know, already drinking too much beer. I can. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh what the hell was that? What the hell? Oh my god, he just kicked his head into the third row. Well, Chris Stevens gets back up. What the hell? D uh, what? I mean, new, we are seeing new moves from, from Crimson Time. I've never seen that, that you know, that axe kick there. I mean, we saw, we saw Shock Extreme throw a spear from that kind of, from, from the, the flapjack. But that was vicious. That was in midair. That's the difference. I, I think Chris Stevens is getting angry. He's punching the apron. I would be too. <laughs> Every time he gets momentum. Oh! Oh, suicide dive! Missing the suicide dive there. Get both guys be putting their bodies on the line. I mean, they they have to if they're going for the extreme titles. There's <laughs> a neck breaker on the outside. Oh, man. I want to see all the... Man, I just... I, I'm afraid to see what will happen at prime time, man. Like, it's... No. Oh, legs are what? A huge leg drop there! From Crimson! And he's just standing over him, man. That's, like, it's... <sighs> offering, and it's kind of like offering up a sacrifice. It really is, you know, and it's, yeah. He's one of the... Wait. Okay. Uh, I, I swear I just heard him say night yet. I don't know. Oh, wait on oh, nice scoop slam on the concrete. There's the Chris Stevens. I know. Oh no. There's the crazy Steve moment. Steve oh. with the plancha. Suicide. Connect to the suicide plancha. There he is. He's working on the body. There we go. There's the Steve. I know. Oh man, he's just he's fighting. <laughs> he's just punching him, and it's like no avail. <laughs> This is the reason the thoughts go. This is this is almost scary from Crimson. I mean, we know this we know this guy's Steve knows this guy's that, but this is just something totally different. I, I mean I completely agree with you, but the you know, it's it's interesting. And uh, oh uh, uh oh Oh my. Suicide Plancha connect again! Throwing their bodies on the line. Beautiful move there from, from Chris Steven. And then look, he's just like slamming his Crimson's neck on the concrete, you know? And I'm like, that doesn't feel good. I mean, like, the fact is, yeah, Crimson is... Oh, look at these punches, Tina. Look at those punches. You can hear them. Oh, my God. Like, referee, those punches. No way of those clothes for those open things. I mean, that was brutal. I mean, those punches then. Uh, look, look, see, he just, he, Chris Stevens just shook his head, trying to get his, oh, oh my god, he just missed this, <sighs> it, 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 you can almost say there's a little bit of a cockiness there, you know, he saw, saw the move going, and Crimson just, just walks up the way. Yeah, uh, oh no, man, we almost went a whole freaking show without the announcer table being broken. No, I've got my stuff, I've got my beers, my beers gone away. Oh! We've seen this! Uh, we saw this last week. Uh oh. Oh! Oh my god! 
DDT through the announcer's table. Uh-oh, is, is he going to win by a countout? Crimson, look, Crimson just pops back up. Oh my god. What is driving these guys? I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, we've seen... Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh it's a back suplex into the tip up there. That... The new cincher. Yeah, it's... Oh my god, I mean... Trig oh, wait, what the hell? No. No, 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 no. Come on, no. Mm. There's more... No, you've got a career. No, no. don't do this, Chris Stevens. Don't. No, no, oh no, my no. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Suplex off the top of the turnbuckle onto that concrete floor. Oh my... I mean, that, that's 20 feet. <sighs> at least. Oh my god, that just... End this already. I mean, th this. I don't know. Wait, what's Chris oh, Stevens? Come on, leave it there. An leave oh. it there the, oh my god! Close to the elbow drop, totally misses that. I mean, what is. This match is. Again, what are we witnessing? I mean, these, this is a normal one on one match, and these guys are absolutely ripping each other to pieces. Well, I mean, this is. Like, like I'm going to say this, this is why. Chris Stevens is known as Crazy Steven. This is why Crimson is just, well, freaking crazy. So, I mean... Yeah. Oh, he's going to line that up again. I know he's like, he's going to line that. Okay, third time, like, you can't hit connect with that big knee. And connect for it. And, uh, it's going in. There it is! Hit the big knee! This could be it! Oh, uh, what? Not going for the pin? No, 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 no. Oh my god, it's the hardest bit of the ring! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Oh! oh my god! They, I don't think they'll make it to prime time, dude. I, we need it. We need to get the medical staff out here, man. We've got, we've got our medical staff overtime. I mean, every single week of the last two weeks, we have just been. I mean, I mean, I understand people want us, stars want us, no. I just want to know, did you see Chris Stevens get up from that? He just did. This is what I mean. I mean, he just got DDT onto the apron. I mean, that is the hardest part. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who don't know how really set up, that bit around the end, that is pure steel. There's no piling of it. That is pure steel. And I mean, to be DDT directly onto it. Let's go for the pin. One. Uh. Just small two cup there. And Jeff managed to get the two. Here's the old school, the drop toe hold there from Chris Stevens. And like Chris Stevens holds him. Was that me? Do you notice Chris Stevens holding those ribs? Uh, he he is definitely holding those ribs, but I think after this, uh, Crimson will be as well, man. Look at this nice, oh! Beautiful combination of moves there. I mean, what a match you're witnessing. This is, and uh, this, I am, what more can these superstars do each other? Uh-oh. You oh, no, no, he's going to turn the table. No way, no, no. Come on, Chris Stevens. Don't be, no. No. No way. You just, w stop asking what they could do after that. Okay, stop it. Because every time you say that, something happens. But look, oh, Chris Stevens. Right. back up again. Here's that couple of rolls back in the ring. Leaving Chris Stevens there on the floor. I mean, I mean I'm at the shop at the moment. I mean, Wait. These guys, oh, come on, oh, whoa, yeah. what's he doing? Oh, no, oh, that's no. the DQ, oh. what is Grim, he is just, what? What, ladies and gentlemen, it was, um, as you just saw, um, Crimson was disqualified there, um, why, I mean, that was a superb match, I mean, why would you do that? I, was it maybe he could that he was scared that it might lose? I don't know. Like I don't know why. I'm, I, well, I'm, I, I have no ladies and gentlemen. I mean, what? Another, again, another great match. I mean, another match we could put in the in the hat for match of the year. And I said we're only three, we're three months in, and we already got four matches that we could say for match of the year. I mean, and two of them are Chris Stevens. <laughs> That, I mean, Chris Stevens is coming here, and what an impact he has made. And I mean, you know what? This is this is what this is what. I don't know what to think about it. We, we got to think about it this way now. Now we have got four. Well, actually, is it four? Four superstars. Four superstars 
really want in this extreme time. I mean, Kane Williams is already in, in line for that. Crimson's got a shot. We've got to put Chris Stevens' name in there. And also, we've got Shock's Extreme. He's due a title match. He is due a rematch for that shot for that extreme title. And I mean... The, the scary part is, though, is, is yes, this just happened to Chris Stevens, he j but he won. That goes in the win column as a win. So he still has a lot, some momentum going into it. I mean, he's... But, but he's, he's momentum, yeah, you say it's momentum going now, but he just got a, he just got a, a cheer full on in the face from that huge <laughs> hit there well, the, from Crimson. Crimson got a, mean, a DDT off the, <laughs> to the steel, you know, and so did, don't, so did Chris Stevens. I mean, like, this is... It's a, it's like it's one upsmanship. Sorry, one -upsmanship, yeah. yeah, one upsmanship. And I mean, it's they I mean, I, I'll make the announcement now because <laughs> prime time, ladies and gentlemen, at prime time we will see an extreme championship title match, and we will see a Kane Williams, Crimson, Shots Extreme, and Chris Stevens, and ladies and gentlemen, that will be a no hold. Bar, fatal four-way elimination match, and I mean, we, we, we've got to let these guys go. I mean, you just seen Crimson. He doesn't give it whether he's in the rules or not. You're just smashing in the face of the chair anyway, just because he might not like you. I mean, that prime time is going to be so. I mean, what? I can't wait. I can not wait, especially for that match. Yeah, especially that match. I mean, I mean that. It's gonna. We're, we're gonna have to put an ambulance on standby. I can promise you that. Like, cause <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, we, we saw superstar taken out. You know, we saw Savage and Frosty being taken out, and I'm taken to the medical facilities. Yeah, okay. Um, there is no doubt in my mind that that match. You know, actually, do you know what? I think it's an idea. We should we should put we should put all four of these matches, all these guys in the ring just to see what happens. So. You know what, I'm going to make a tag team match for next episode. And we will see. We will see those four guys who are in the match. But we will see Shocked Extreme team in with Chris Stevens. And they will go up against Kane Williams and Crimson. Now, that, that, this, that will be interesting. I can't wait for that match. I mean, Will they be I'll, able to be tag teams? Like, like I, I don't think this they will be able to function. Like, is it going to be a normal tornado? Because if it's a normal man, uh, they're screwed. Well, we'll, I, we'll have to wait and see. I think we'll, I, I'll put it towards the board direction and see what I think. But we, that match needs to be seen. Yeah, it would <laughs> definitely, but... Man, I... Whoever wins that, you know, the, the team that wins that is going to be driving with a lot of momentum. Without, without that going to... Well, we, 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 I like, so where are we going for? We, we announced it earlier on, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, prime time... It is coming from TJ's hometown. We are in North Dakota. We are in the Ralph, Eng Ralph Engelstead Arena. And I know you're excited about that. Oh, hell yeah. I definitely am. I mean, you know, I've, I've been to that stadium so many times because I used to live right around, essentially, in the same state. So, of course, I went there. Went to lots of wrestling events there. So, you know, it's like I'm going back home. So, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait to take my family there. Going I, I can't wait as long as I cannot wait for Prime Time. I mean, we've got a few weeks left until Prime Time. We've still got another week until that big event. I mean, what an episode. I mean, TJ, what your final thoughts on the episode? Uh, this episode was amazing. I mean, like, like it, it's it's weird, though, for a lot of... It was different. Uh, that's all I can say. This episode was different. And that's because we weren't... I was expecting expecting the TV title to be defended, and for once he wasn't there, and that that surprised me the most is that he wasn't able to wrestle today. So, you know, the thing is, there's no doubt he will be back here next week in the next episode, and I mm -hmm. cannot wait for that next episode. But, ladies and gentlemen, well, we are coming towards the end of tonight's episode. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I will say one thing: please stay stay glued to. At the YouTube channel because mm -hmm. there will be an in-depth interview with myself and TJ with all that's going on ladies and gentlemen you know just to get his thoughts on what's been going on with his superstars and things like that and also coming up things but ladies and gentlemen we thank you so much for coming back and we'll see you all next episode <laughs>